Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's thrifting adventure. My name is Jessica, if you happen to be new here, and today I'm going to take you into Goodwill, and I'm also going to stop into the ReStore to see what they have. So I'm going to take you around into both stores, show you some of the interesting things that I saw, and I will share with you everything that I purchased on today's trip at the end of the video. And as always, let me know what your favorite item was on today's thrifting trip. I always enjoy reading everybody's answers down in the comments section. So I thrifted some jars sort of like this a long time ago and I have them on my counter with some of my cooking staples in them and last week I shared a video with you guys where I got new little scoops to go inside of them. I will insert it at the top of the screen here in case you missed it but I really liked these as well. I did leave them behind because I have enough and I'm sure someone else will like to come along and find these for their kitchen. So I came across this Campbell's casserole dish and it has a green bean casserole recipe in the inside of it. Interesting thing about me, I still to this day do not like green bean casserole. I know I'm weird. Let me know down in the comments below if you also do not like it as well. I would love to know. So I thought I would check out the furniture before I left Goodwill. I didn't see anything too interesting, but I came across this pair of chairs right here. You'll see further along in the video, I came across another pair of chairs that were almost identical, except they were pink. Before we go into Restore, I wanna quickly show you what I got at Goodwill today. So the only thing that I left with was this little Siamese cat statue. It was vintage and I got it for 99 cents. This is actually going to be a gift for someone in my family, so I knew that they would like it, so I went ahead and picked it up and I'm gonna save it. So now we are in the Restore and I like to stop in here from time to time to check out their light fixtures. They have a really good selection of cheap secondhand light fixtures and I have been looking to update a few in my house and I'm just gonna see what they have. Unfortunately, I did not find any that I liked today, but it's definitely a good place to look if you are looking for some affordable light fixtures. They have a pretty good selection and I'm just gonna keep on looking. Thank you. 
So here are the two chairs that I was talking about earlier in the video. Don't they look exactly like the ones at Goodwill that had the red on them? I really liked these ones a lot better. I loved the pink against the brown. I thought they were really pretty. So if you happen to be new to my channel, you may not know, but I have been looking for a vintage vanity for a long time now, and I came across this one right here. It's the exact style that I've been looking for. Unfortunately, it didn't have a mirror to go with it, but the price was really good at $25. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys before I show you what I purchased today was this lovely little teapot that I came across. I thought it was really pretty and very bright and colorful. So now I'm going to show you what I ended up purchasing today. So if you guessed the vintage vanity, you were right. I totally had to get this even though it was missing the mirror. I thought it would be perfect. And at $25, it was just a steal. Yes, it does need some work. There's some nail polish on the top here that I need to scrape off. It needs some sanding and a new coat of paint. I'll definitely have to spray paint the hardware because it's in really good shape. I just don't like the color. It was solid wood, as you can see, and I'm so excited to start working on this. And I think I'm going to repurpose a large mirror that I already have to hang on the wall above it. I can't wait to start on this makeover, and I will be sharing with you guys a updated video once it's complete and I have it in my room and it's all styled and everything. So I can't wait to share with you guys how it looks when it's all complete. Oh, and I'm not sure if you remember a couple of weeks ago when I found those nutcrackers at Good will for 99 cents. Well, just to let you know, I have put them to great use. I picked a lot of pecans over the last week and I have already shelled three full bags and I have a whole container to go. So just thought I would share that update with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to go thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.